Good morning, grade 11 students. I'm Mrs. Jo Andre Postrado. Welcome to week 7 for this fourth quarter in Practical Research 1. For today's session, we will discuss about the drawing conclusions from patterns and themes. Are you ready for another learning engagement? You are expected to learn the most essential learning competency. Draws conclusions from patterns and themes. Kindly prepare your pen and your notebook as we begin our lesson with our first activity. I am expecting each one of you to listen ultimately and enjoy learning. Here are the mechanics of the game. Decode the numbers using the letters of alphabet to reveal the words that we need in drawing conclusion. This will be your guide to decipher the numbers. We have the letters of the alphabet and the numbers 1 to 26. Let's take this for example. Number 3 stands for letter C. 15 is O. 14 is N. 3 is C. 12 is L. 21 is Q. 19 is for S. 9 is I. 15 is for O and 14 for N. These numbers reveal the word conclusion. You have 5 seconds to decode the numbers to reveal the word. Just type the word in the comment section. Let's start the ball rolling. First set of numbers are 23, 18, 1, 16. Put a space, then 21 and 16. Clue. The word is synonymous with finalizing. Set, go. If your answer is wrap up, you got it right. Good job, grade 11 students. Second set of numbers are 18, 5, 19, 21, 12, and 20. Clue? This is the outcome of the investigation. Time starts now. If your answer is result, you are correct. Wow, you are amazing. Next numbers are 3, 12, 15, 19, 21, 18, 5. Clue? This is like completing the finished part. Start your time. If your answer is closure, very good. Next numbers are 4, 5, 3, 9, 19, 9, 15, and 14. Clue? This refers to final judgment. Let's begin. If your answer is decision, great job! Another set of numbers are 6, 9, 14, 1, 1, and 12. Clue? This is the concluding part of the paper. Go! If your final answer is final, superb! Congratulations to active students who have joined the Decode Me activity. How do you define conclusion? A conclusion of a research paper is the wrap-up of ideas leads to a result of the final decision for closure. After the interpretation of the result, the researcher will formulate a conclusion based on a significant findings of a qualitative data analysis. You might be asking, how will you draw conclusions from patterns and themes? We need to understand that the crafted patterns and themes are based on the presentation, analysis, 
and interpretation of qualitative data. After getting the significant findings, the researcher will produce a decision as final judgment in addressing the problem. You might be interested of identifying the steps in drawing conclusion. Step 1. You need to understand the phenomenon being studied. Significantly, you have grasped your entire study. You must have a deep understanding of the starting point of your research problem so that you will know how to end it. The conclusion should appropriately answer the specific problems raised at the beginning of the investigation anchored on the foreshadowed questions. In this step, avoid merely repeating the results stated in the summary. Instead, make inferences based upon the findings. Step 4. Draw a conclusion with confidence. The researcher should avoid the use of qualifiers such as probably, perhaps, maybe, and the like to keep you away from giving doubts on the validity and reliability of the result. I would like to believe that you are eager to ask for a sample conclusion of a research paper. Please refer to the summary of findings in your manuscript. In the summary of findings, identify the statements indicated in your manuscript. For example, the findings of the study emerge from the theme, Peer Pressure. This is the struggle encountered by the students before they dropped out of school. Another sample of, another sample of findings of the study shows like this. This study emerged a theme on self-realization when learners opted to continue their studies. After identifying the findings, draw a short and specific conclusion. For example, the themes emerged from the study are peer pressure and self-realization. It seems that you are now ready for the next activity. This time, we will have thumbs up or thumbs down portion. Choose like sign if the statement talks about drawing conclusion from patterns and themes and dislike sign otherwise. Number one, drawing a conclusion must be based on the significant findings of the study. Timer starts now. If your answer is like sign, you got it right. Good job, grade 11 students. Number two, formulating a conclusion must be based on the answers to the questions of the study. Start your time. If your answer is like sign, you are great. Number three, the conclusion of the study is long and broad. Start your time. If your answer is dislike, you are correct. Wow, you are amazing. Question number four. The conclusion of the study must be certain. Let's begin. If your answer is like sign, very good. For question number five, the conclusion is the final judgment 
in addressing the problem of the study. Go! If your answer is like sign, marvelous. Do you have any clarifications or suggestions about drawing conclusions from patterns and themes? You have 10 seconds to type your questions and the moderator will consolidate your questions. Here, we have a question from grade 11. We have a question from grade 11 student of Vicente P. Trinidad National High School. The question is, what is the importance of drawing a conclusion? The conclusion provides a clear, significant opportunity to explain the readers the thought of the entire study. Here are the references for this session. To end our today's session, I want you to remember a quotation from Neil Armstrong. Research is creating new knowledge. To our dear students, thank you for ultimately listening from the start up to the end of our discussion. Once again, I am Mrs. Joan J. Postrado from Laong Bato National High School. Keep safe and stay healthy. See you again 